Hello, today we are going to try to get uh, EEPROM programmer going a vintage uh, data IO 29B uh, used to program the old PROMs and EEPROMs that you find in old computers and arcade games. So this one is a find from ePay and uh, it turns on and it actually sort of works. Um, they self-test. The fan is very noisy and missing its stop. And it goes to remote mode, uh, which is okay, it's probably what I want. And then the first thing you want to check is which version you have. And for that you do select B2. Start and I actually have a good version of the base unit uh, because it's the one with the full memory 1 meg and with the latest version of firmware uh, so nothing to do there except uh, the fan so one of the interesting things is that this takes different packs depending if you want to program from or EEPROM or some logic devices and you can remove them like this here, here I have a Unipack, and it's a Unipack 2. And to figure out which version that is, you also have to do a select PF start. And this is not that rosy, I didn't know at the time, but you want one that has a version uh, higher than 13. And this one has a version 5, which means I can only upgrade it to version 11. And that will limit uh, how uh, many EEPROMs I can program. Of course, it will still program the old ones, uh, the older ones uh, that I'm most interested in, uh, but not some of the newer ones. So let's see if it's uh, working a little bit. Uh, as I understand, if you want to read something, you do copy, copy data from, then it will copy it from the device, and it has the start address and the size, will take the defaults, and to the RAM, and same thing, start address will be default, which is zero. And now it asks for the family and pen, and uh, you have to have the little file that goes with it because it's a code. So it's an AMD 27128A, and it's C1 and 51. C1, the keyboard doesn't work very well. I'll have to change it to look at that. And 50, ah, 51. Okay, one gives me two ones each time. And uh, it has understood that it's in the socket. Um, and I guess I just press start. And that's the error I got. Device backwards. Ah, and now it works again. Okay, let's look inside. And so that's how you remove the pack. That's how it goes. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, I guess that's the memory board. The ROMs. So I already have a new fan in there and it turns out uh, the keys are going to be super easy to repair. It's basically you just pop up the key and you have access to uh, the mechanism right beneath it. Okay, you can hardly hear the new fan and make a little nice looking filter. And Lo and behold, all the keys work properly now. You don't need to press like crazy. Good. Uh, let's go to the next step.
Well, everything was going swimmingly until this happened. Repair required and I, I heard a noise so some component popped or something happened I think in the unipack <laughs> 